What's going on, sports card collectors? It's Saturday. It's Halloween. I'm excited because today's the day. It seems like it's been a while since I announced this, but today we'll be given one lucky winner, the 2020 Donruss Football Blaster Box, still sealed, ready to go to one lucky winner. And before I get into that, um, I, I want to go a different direction. I was going to do a, actually a box break of another one of these blaster boxes just like this, but people are eager to find out um, if they won on this. And then I notice a lot of times in giveaways, if you're not the winner, it kind of tunes everybody out and you kind of lose that audience. So what I would like to do is not a real long video before I draw to, to draw the winner, but I wanted to do a little bit of a self-promote and as far as my eBay store. Um, yeah, we, we self-promote our Instagram page. We self-promote our YouTube page. And, and by the way, I, I appreciate everybody that subscribed. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you know, please do so. Hit the like button. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload the videos. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything, but it certainly does help me out. And I do appreciate that. Um, but what I wanted to do is, is those that have had extensive messages back and forth with me on my videos... Um, you know, there's been times where I've been asked, why did you grade the lower end cards? I feel we're doing a disservice to those that are getting into the collecting uh, world, um, whether it's a young kid, it's an adult, maybe getting back into it and trying to get the feel for things. Um, the prices of sports cards, as far as boxes go, hobby boxes, blaster boxes, hanger boxes, the silos is is ridiculous in my opinion. Back in the day you could walk into a pharmacy or drugstore and you could buy a pack of cards, not necessarily the box of cards. You know, so you saved up to buy one or two packs of cards and that excitement of ripping open those packs. Um now it's not individual packs, at least nowhere's around here. It's by the box. And you can on eBay I know people sell by the pack, but it, it honestly at a ridiculous price. So what I'm trying to do is give back um, and to try to bring back the fun of collecting cards. I think we've lost our way. And don't get me wrong. I know that there's some individuals that are in it just to make the money. There's some of us that do collect and sell. That's myself right there. Then there's some that just collect for their own personal collection. They are not really into it for the, the sell of it, to, to resell it right now. So... What I've tried to do is the the uh, grading of the um, lower end cards is it's a inexpensive way for a collector to get a card of either someone that's on their favorite team or a personal collection that they have doesn't have to be a superstar and get a graded card at a great price in my opinion because you're not paying the PSA prices or the BGS prices. Um, you can get a GMA graded card. It's encapsulated. It's protective. It's preserved. And now they feel like they've gained the world, in my opinion. Um, if you put yourself in a kid's shoes, um, that's the coolest thing. You know, it's a cool thing if you give um, a, a kid that's starting out that's collecting cards and you said, hey, here's 30 cards I want to give you. And you know that there's some stars, but there's not worth a whole lot of money as far as va book value, if you want to call it that, but to them, it's worth gold. And to see the smile on their face, or even an adult, a smile on their face elated when they got those cards, um, we need to bring that back in. Um, I, I enjoy doing this YouTube. I enjoy talking. I, I know there's there's negative people out there. There's negative people out there for everything. Trust me, I, I deal with it on a regular basis with my job. So um, why not even do something further. You know, it's my, my situation, you know, I'll tell people that, um, I, I, uh, you know, supervise over, um, or as, as part of my, my crew on my night shift is, you know, what can you do to make it better? So I ask myself that, what can you do to make the hobby better? So th this is, this is what I've done. Um, again, it's a little self-promotion, but I'll tell you why it's a win-win. <clears throat> Ironically, my eBay page is KB Sports Cards. No, no, uh, no question there. So, what I have done is on my store, and let me click on the store here. Let me see if I can bring it up a little bit closer. Is let's see if we can zoom it in. I have my featured items, but I have like twelve hundred cards listed on eBay. 
Um, I have a lot of inventory. It's not all my inventory. Um, but off to the left here, I created the categories of my store. Baseball cards, basketball, BGS graded, GMA graded, PSA graded. I don't have SGC graded on there because I don't have any for sale. I do have some football cards, hockey cards. And then I added the dollar bargain bin free shipping. And it means just that. I'm charging a dollar for the card, free shipping. It's economy shipping. It's going to ship out in a plain white envelope. And if you've seen my video that I've done about shipping in a PWE or plain white envelope, um, I've had very good success with that. And this is my opportunity. It's a win-win. I'm not making a whole lot of money off of it, but it clears out my inventory um, as I like to go a different direction with my eBay store. Um, and I can't do that until I reduce inventory. So no, don't get excited. These are feature items. Once you hit the dollar, dollar bargain bin, free shipping, here's the items that I have um, for sale. And I'll just kind of scroll through it a little bit. Um, it's a lot of baseball right now. I'm adding stuff. This just opened up a couple days ago. I just started this. There's a lot of baseball, nothing too fancy. It's a lot of this year's cards because um, I'm not big in baseball anymore. There is a Ryan Sandberg 89 Donners in there, though, but that I happen to find in my stash. Um, but... There, I have started putting basketball on there. If I could stop flipping the page around here. Um, basketball cards are starting to go on there. Um, listen, it's I, I really don't care about the baseball cards right now. Um, people will be like, you're crazy. Um, I, I'm fine with I mean, there's a Mookie Betts. It's a Bowman Platinum. It's a dollar. It's free. Free shipping. Okay, so you pay a dollar. It's free shipping. By the time I pay the 50 cent stamp, I pay the eBay fees. What do I make a quarter off of it? Um, but it just allows me to give back. You know, there's, uh, I think, one basketball card right there. There's a few there. There's uh, Bruno, Quinn Cook, Denzel Valentine. So, you know, you get somebody that's a Chicago Bulls fan and Denzel Valentine of the Bulls. You can get his Prism card for a dollar, you know, free shipping. You know, Ryan Anderson with the Rockets, you know, so just different stuff like that. Uh, um, Bogdan Bog Bogdanovich for the Kings. So my idea of this is, is let's make your money if you want to make your money, but let's, why shortchange if you're trying to cater to just one group of individuals, look for that big payday. Um, I'm looking to reduce inventory. Somebody's looking to get cards at a cheap price to add to their collection, um, or to complete a set. So this is what I'm offering. I encourage you just go check it out. I'll put a link to my store down below in this video um, and go to my store and then click on the left hand side and select the $1 bin free shopping or free shopping, free shipping. Sorry about that. So, so that I don't make this any longer than I wanted to, um, let's go and get going on our drawing. Um, I appreciate everyone that's participated in this. Um, I again, thank everybody that subscribed. Um, I hope you continue to subscribe. Um, we'll, we'll come up with some creative and new ideas of different videos that come up with. Um, yes, I know GMA's volume has gone insane. So people have asked questions. My last GMA order, they billed me and I charge, I paid them through my PayPal account and the next day it shipped. I know that some people said it was two days it shipped. It may be taking longer. Also, since my last order, my order I shipped through the mail um, used to go right to Alan's house. I know people have had a problem with a business that's at a house. Well, my eBay store is at my house. Um, I don't have a problem with Alan having GMA out of his house. It's not about the location um, or what the building looks like. I'm more interested in what the inside looks like and the setup that he has um, to do the grading. Okay. So I know there's been people that bashed and laughed out loud. And how can you call GMA credible? Because it goes to a house. So what? There's a lot of businesses that work out of houses. So that that's just insignificant. That's no, that doesn't bother me whatsoever. If it bothers you. That's fine. You don't have to go with them. So with that being said, you know, um, Alan's busy. I honestly don't know how many employees he has, if he has any employees whatsoever. With him still able to do these turnaround times like he has, some people are still getting cards back in less than a week, which is amazing. Um, but nonetheless, my hat's off to Alan for the ability to handle the increase in volume and still return cards in a very, very respectable time. Okay, when everybody else is taking months on end. So 
that's that for that. Okay. Um, let's get into this. All right. So I already have, there's my, my YouTube page or my YouTube video there that GMA SGC orders sent. Did I say, you know, another, uh, giveaway. So this is the link to the giveaway and we're going to go to, I got a different random picker than I did use last time. So my comment picker. So we're going to put the URL in there and no duplicates use this and we're going to go ahead and get the YouTube comments and it says 37 unique that actually responded with the word done. So let's proceed further. We're going to start the raffle and we're going to pick our random winner. And I feel like I should cover that up so we can reveal it slowly, but nah, you know what? Good enough. Let's go. No anticipation. I'm 11 minutes in on this video. Guys, I appreciate everything all that you did. I appreciate your support. I look forward to further videos. I look forward to further conversations with all of you. Again, if you're watching this and you weren't part of this, um, I will do another one. Actually, my my next one is um, I, I'm I'm looking at once I get to a thousand subscribers. You know, I'm only at three hundred. Um, I want to do a big giveaway, not just one. I want to do like five different giveaways for that one for for hitting a thousand members or subscribers. So. Um, you know, you, word of mouth guys, I know is the best kind of advertising. You can talk to your friends and those that subscribe to you or anybody, you know, if you're interested in, they, they might find it interesting, you know, hit them up, tell them to subscribe. So without further ado, the winner of this giveaway on October 31st, 2020 Halloween of the 2020 Donruss football blaster box is... Panthers fan 40. Congratulations, Panthers fan 40. You are the winner of the 2020 Blaster Box Football. You're going to have to hit me up. You can hit me up on Instagram. If you have followed me there, you can DM me. Instagram, KB Sports Cards. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, uh, KB Sports Cards. Either way, reach out to me. <clears throat> And we'll get your address and we'll get that shipped out. So again, congratulations. Thank you, everybody that's participated. Thank you for your support, everybody. I do appreciate that. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy.